seems like we lost audio for a fair bit there. Needs to say, what we've got here is a board that has a 130-odd ohm short on PV bus and a 5 ohm short on the 2V5 NAND rail. So it makes me think that along with the corrosion that we have a V-reg chip that is badly damaged and most likely this machine will not be recoverable. But we're going to take it all apart, have a look and confirm that. Well, that's a fair bit of dust. Not the worst, but not great either. Immediately I can see a lot of dust clustering around there. That's interesting. I'm going to brush that away, but it doesn't look like it's got any hot spots or anything on there, but we'll check, we'll check. Let's give this a brush over. Maybe it's on the other side. Oh, okay, we've got some interesting damage over here that gives us a bit of hope. Overall, it looks fairly good. Even though it's very dusty, the dust appears to be dry dust. Or is that a little smidge of corrosion down there? Uh, I think there's a bit of corrosion under there. Yeah, there's unfortunately there's a bit of corrosion down there. You just see around this foot here. It's got some junk that's sticking. And that's a bad sign. So say we clean this up and see how the resistances change, if at all. Now those two diodes are these here, and what are they protecting? USB SOC. Mm, okay, it's very unlikely that they are going to be the problem. So sadly, that leads us back to the V-Reg. Okay, let's get the V-Reg off and see if the resistances change in our favor. Yep, that's no good. It didn't take much, but something wicked in here and did the damage. And you can see it all there. And that's very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. I don't have a lot of hopes for this. We'll clean that up last bit on the pads, but I suspect this is, in fact, the end of the road. All right, fingers crossed, but Let's not have too much hope. Oh wow. Am I kidding myself there? We actually have a reasonable resistance there. And likewise there. There is a very slim chance this might be recoverable. Put a new regulator in and see how we go. Check the board view, pin one, bottom right. Put down a little bit of flux. It's funny how you can get real nervous at times like this. Got a NAND protector on. Like we need some more flux down there. That thing's not going to float in like that. Okay, that's a way too much flux. Make sure we didn't float the other side. It can be very easy sometimes you focus so much on getting the V-Reg set on the other side that you end up floating this side. And if we have a look, they look very nicely set down. So that looks good there. Looks good, we've got some hope. Once again, let's check our resistances and see where we are. 5600 is very nice for that. 700, 800, very nice for PP bus. Wow. I'm very shocked. 
So I clean up some of that flux. Try to minimize the amount of dust that it's going to collect over its lifetime. Be nice to do better, but I don't want to push my luck either. Now, while we're at it, we best clean this up. Now, they may actually be okay and just need a clean. Just using some 80-20 alcohol here. 80% alcohol, 20% water. A little bit of water just helps lift up any water-soluble components in that corrosion. And there often are quite a few of those. Now I'm trying to avoid having to actually replace this section because we are close to an end once again. If push come to shove, I will sooner just temporarily clean this up and then get the data off and then come back and replace them if I have to. Oh uh, well, it looks like they're coming off. Okay, fortunately those are not super critical parts but it would be ideal to have them replaced. So let's see if we have any pads. Fortunately the pads are there. Suspecting the next one. That pad feels like it's breaking away. This one does not. I will take it off though. I'm going to see if I can get it off just using some solder instead of hot air. <laughs> Naturally it's persisting. Right, that does not want to come off. Well, it certainly gives me confidence in the security of the pads, but unfortunately now I've probably damaged it. So it most certainly has to come off. Joy. I'm not worried about those bridging. We'll fix that up in a second. Fortunately, there does not appear to be too much thermal mass on those particular pads. Which makes sense, because they're not data, they're not power lines, they're just signals. So we'll clean up this mess that we created. We'll drop those, drop a pair of replacements on. It's heaps of solder for these little things. These little guys do not need much at all. We'll take them from a donor board. Oh great, we've got one missing there. Well we should have more than just one of these on the board, so we'll search elsewhere on the board for the same part. Six, seven, eleven. 6712, 6711, 6712, they're the same thing. Now there's our shiny little friends. Now these ones are orientated with ground to the bottom, but it really doesn't matter. They are bi-directional units. But for the sake of amusement, we will maintain their polarity. Saw a move that's enough. And then we'll get the next one in and then we can set them down properly. Looks good to me, they're both set down. Let's clean that up a little bit. And then we can go back to reassembling and crossing our fingers. I'm happy with that. Before we go too much further, I definitely better clean this out. Otherwise, we're just putting a good board back into a bad place. It's time to reassemble. This is going to be a one in a million if this works. So definitely be one for the books. To have the V-reg so damaged with continuity going between PP bus and 2v5, or at least it's seen that way to some degree. If you can, if that lives, it's definitely going to be a backup straight away, because I don't know how long those nands would survive. Uh, before firing up, 
check our resistances again. I know it's pedantic, but believe me, you want to do this. Fifty is good. Yep. Seven hundred. Eight hundred. PP bus looking good. Okay, four hundred rising on the NAND. It's I will say this much, four hundred rising is a little bit low. Like I said, it is entirely possible that that NAND is damaged. But really beyond here, there's nothing much else we can do. We've cleared the faults. Now we have to just cross our fingers. Okay, let's plug it in. That's all we can do. Get 20 volts. Give us an Apple logo, please. Charge current's good. If we have a reset, then it's not going to be good. We have an Apple logo. Oh my goodness. That is a one in a million. This person here is going to be advised not to buy lottery tickets or gamble or anything else. What they have just achieved here, or what they have just received here, is simply, for no other way to put it, really is a one in a million chance. The level of damage received on that V-Reg and the fact that we had a most like a crossover between PV bus and TV5 and we're still alive and we're charging. Well, I'm going to have to message them straight away because I don't have a password. <laughs> that always happens. When you don't have a password is when you need desperately to do a backup on the machine. That's just the way it goes. All right. Very rare one. One for the books. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.